Hello guys, today we got another epic team from Adventure Boy and uh, he said that there's been a, a little shadow buff to Inferno Scorpion. He has now a grapple on special 2. Wasn't it always a grapple? To be honest, I have no idea. I don't remember. But I feel like playing Scorpion and not using his special one is a crime. But maybe I'm wrong, so I want to use this video as an opportunity to uh, see if I'm right or wrong. Let's try out his special too, let's see if it's different. Oh yeah, no, never mind. It wasn't it wasn't the grapple before. Yeah, I remember now. I think Ninjutsu Scorpion has the same special too, right? Let's see. Oh no, no, it's not the same. Yeah, that's completely different. Some some other scorpion had the same special too. I don't remember which one. Okay, that frostbite is disgusting. I mean, Scorpion team is just such an enjoyment to play. Even if it's basic Scorpions, this is literally... Probably would be considered the worst Scorpion team. I mean, if we're not going into the Silvers. And even the worst Scorpion team... Can still dominate in so many different conditions. And right now it's a little bit unfair because we have the horse stance buff, so you can do you can do stun loop with only one scorpion. But when there is no no glitch with horse stance, you can do pretty much complete stun loop with uh with two scorpions. And three scorpions can can help you beat so many battles if if they don't have any resistance to stuns. You can absolutely melt things. Look at this. This girl is just getting absolutely wrecked. Oh. So am I. Oh. Ho, ho. Oh my god. And you think... And you think that uh, cover up Casey Cage has insane special too. That that Master of Souls Ormac just absolutely deleted my existence. With his special too. Tanuka! Save me, baby boy. Or girl, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't. I can't. When muscle memory is when I play Scorpion, you use special one. It's always simple. That's always the rule. It's always the rule. Okay, so I think it's definitely helpful to have a grapple on special two of Injustice Scorpion, but I still I still don't think it's a game changer. I don't think I don't think there's ever ever a good idea to use Scorpion Special 2. Unless you're playing against Cabal. But to be honest, if you're playing against Cabal, like him kill Evan Cabal, don't bring Scorpion to begin with. Like if you cannot utilize stunts, I feel like you shouldn't be using Scorpion. It's plain and simple. Plus, it's nice to have grapple, but most of the time you're going to be doing their special twos. You're going to be doing special two after a combo. So the grapple wouldn't even matter. Grapple mostly matters if you cannot break blocks. Like if, if there are certain battles, certain tower battles where the gear is absolutely insane. Like in a Linkway Tower right now. Like Battle 200? Like what the hell? You cannot break their blocks. I have two unblockable pieces on my characters. And they still cannot break their blocks. Well now, in that case, grapples are extremely useful. Very powerful. But in most cases... And also, like, if you are, like, very low and you feel like your enemy is going to attack you and you do not want to risk it and try to attack them to break their block, then you can launch a grapple. But it's just such a small use case scenario. Whoa, that Johnny getting deleted. 
Damn, son. Okay, let's see. I didn't even test if it's a grapple or not because it didn't... I should try to do this to somebody who is blocking. Nice try. Yeah, this guy is definitely not a grapple. Like, I've been actually trying to use his special two as a grapple, but I couldn't because I always... Like, I always do it after the combo, which every attack in the end of the combo is a grapple, pretty much. Alright, battle five. And also, I'm playing basic gold team, pretty much, so... I'm facing very easy teams to fight, which is a good thing, honestly. After grinding the towers, I just want a little break and just play some... Just have some fun, you know? Yeah, like, look. I didn't even need the grapple here. To be honest, it's a sick-looking special attack. Bam. In the face. Fire resistant. Get wrecked. Okay, now he's blocking. Let's see if it's a grapple or not. I mean, the clone does the grapple. So the grapple part is only in the end. And I feel like that was always the case, no? I can't, I can't tell you guys. I haven't played Inferno Scorpion in a long time. Yeah, I feel like the first hit is not a grapple. And the second hit, I feel like always was a grapple. Let me know if I'm right or not. I have no clue. Mine is the power of hellfire. In any case, it's always a pleasure to, to, to fight a scorpion. Right now, if you're stuck in a tower, if you're struggling anywhere, use this team with any gear. Any scorpion. You can replace one of these scorpions with silver scorpion. You can probably beat most of the battles. Well, not in Linkway Tower, because those fools, they just have insane uh, block breaker resistance. But if, if you can pile up a billion block breaker gear on your characters, and also somehow resist all the frostbite. I wonder if, if stun team, stun loop right now will work even with frostbite. I don't see why not. Maybe... I mean, you'll definitely won't be able to do, like, uh, one and a half combos. Like, half combo in, in between special attacks, but I feel like you should be able... Yeah, first hit doesn't doesn't break block. You should be able to uh, to do stun loop with two scorpions, even with... Uh, even with frostbite on. But maybe I'm wrong. Gotta test that, maybe. Let me know if you tested it. Stun loop against frostbite battles. Like, I'm curious how effective that would be, for example, against Battle 200 and Linkway Tower, the stun loop. Also... Oh, never mind. It looked like the left Scorpion was a little bit short. Alright, final battle. Oh, man, come on. Fusion 2 Sub-Zero, what is this game? We need... We desperately need a new game mode. Something fun. Something where you can cooperate. Some kind of a clan boss or something. I don't know. Where you can test out, like... Right now, we don't really have any setups that are geared against, like, singular bosses that have, like, ridiculous amount of health. So basically, setups that are geared on doing as much damage as possible and also surviving for as long as possible. Like, regular boss battles, they're slightly different. So I, I would love to have, like, singular bosses that have, like, 50, 100 million health. And you have the whole... The whole clan trying to beat them up. That would be so much fun. Because right now there's so many setups that can deal insane amount of damage, like glass cannons teams. But th most of them are not effective against regular battles. Because either it's too much damage and you're sacrificing way too much usability to get the damage. Or if it's the regular boss battles, like... Your enemies, synergies, and tag, tag attacks can just wreck you. So, like, if you have one giant singular enemy...
that could be a super cool experience in MK Mobile. I don't know. I would love to see that. Anyway, thank you so much, Adventure Boy. Not sure. Not sure if there was any changes to Inferno Scorpion, honestly, but we'll find out. People will let us know in the comments, but I appreciate it. I haven't played these guys in a long time, and I had fun, and I, I didn't even do spear spam. It was still super, super relaxing and super fun. This is what the game is all about. If you feel like you're tired of grinding, just pick your favorite team, go into Faction Wars, and just, just, just play with the team. It's going to be easy, relaxing, and definitely a nice change of pace from... Uh, grinding challenging towers thank you for watching subscribe for more content huge thanks to all our members and patrons and i'll see you in the next video take care